One of the best ways to make your video stand out on YouTube is by applying sound effects in the editing process where appropriate. And this is in addition to using music, but people rarely apply sound effects because they just don't know how to apply it, where to source it. So I wanted to make this video to show you exactly my workflow of using sound effects to make videos really stand out. I'm editing a video right now and there are moments where there are transitions in the video. And if you don't apply sound effects, they don't really stand out as much as they should. So you could create those sound effects to keep people more engaged than you usually would with just music. So I'll show you a real life example and I'll show you exactly how I source it high, download it high, include it in my edits. So I'll show you a massive library of over half a million sound effects that I'll link below in the description. Let's jump on the computer now. And this is the platform that I use that I've used for many, many years called Envato. And this is called Envato Elements that I'll link below in the description. But this is basically an all-in-one platform. I'm gonna get my sound effects from this tab, but you can get just about anything you could use in a video from stock videos to video templates to music. In this case, let's focus on sound effects and I will also source my music from here too. And with sound effects, you have a massive library of over half a million royalty free sound effects. And this is important because if you just Google sound effects, you may not be getting royalty free sound effects, meaning someone created these. So you do need to make sure they're royalty free. And this is why I use this platform over just trying to find them. And another reason I like a platform like this is because I could sort by category. In this case, I'm looking for transition and movement. It's far easier this way then sifting through the half a million, right? I want to kind of narrow it down and I could narrow it down by time as well. In this case, I only need something that's like five seconds. So I could narrow it down and that narrows it down about half of what it was before. And then what I do is my workflow is I just press play and there may be many pages that you might want to go through. I usually go through a page or two and then I usually find something I really like. So I sort by most popular and just work my way down but you can search on top as well in the sound effects library. So if you're looking for something specific, you could do that too. And as you could see, you could select multiple different categories as well and do your search that way. Now, once I find something I like, I usually press download here and download it to my computer so I could bring it into the edit. And at this point, if you don't have an account, again, you could go ahead and sign up for a monthly payment. That's what I'm using here, just a monthly payment. But there is no limit of what you could download here. You could download basically anything you see as all these categories are under the one subscription price, including sound effects, music and everything else. So now I'll go back to my download folder and I've already unzipped this file. So it's just this WAV file is the transition. I'm going to go ahead and bring it into my edit right here. I'll drag it over and here's the WAV file. So now I'll just drag it to my audio channel here and I usually just line it up right here with the transition. You see the waveform here that I have. Most editing softwares have this thing where you see the waveform so it's easier to edit. And then I just usually go back and then press play. And it works pretty well right there. And then I could tweak it, you know, just to make sure it lines up pretty good with my edit. Yeah, that's even better. So this in combination with music and different transitions that you could apply. In this case, I'm using just a cross dissolve, but I do have different type of transition packs too sometimes to get something more elaborate. And I definitely don't overdo it with sound effects and transitions. You want to definitely use those sparingly, but they have such a big impact if you use them in right moments, just like I showed you in the example, right? I'm showing something that took me three months and I'm showing it before and after. And if I don't use a transition and a sound effect there, I'm really losing a big moment in my edit. That's why I used it exactly then. And I probably in this project will use it five other times in an eight minute video. But I wanted to show you my workflow exactly where I source sound effects, why you should be using sound effects. And it will work with any edit software because it's just a simple audio file. And remember, anywhere you source your sound effects, make sure it's royalty free. I want to thank my sponsor in Vital Elements, one of the most useful tools that I use for all my video projects. Thanks so much for all your time. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.